Hello all. In this video, I am planning to build a simple lightning component to display all the account details. And uh, this video is only intended to uh, beginners like me. Uh, any experts or gurus, just ignore me or forgive me if I am doing anything wrong over here. Alright, let's jump into the requirement. Our requirement is very simple, just to display all the account details in the component. For that, let's open the developer console and we have to create an Apex class first. I am going to name this as a lightning accountless controller. Created it. and I'm uh, creating our enable public variable that's a list of account and creating a function that uh, returns an instance of this class for that I'm creating a controller and I'm creating a query to display the account details and I am returning the controller save and make sure it compiles properly and create a new lightning component and name it as lightning account list. Here I am defining uh, get record list function, a new function, and adding a new action that is get list data which we have defined in our apex class earlier now i am setting a callback for this action i am gonna say if the condition was successful yet After this variable, I am checking the condition. So if it is success, then we are going to call the backend function. I am creating a variable called store response. Which is going to get the data and we are going to get something from uh, on the front end that is v dot account list that is equal to store response account list now i am including this in action save it make sure it compiles and go to our markup page now in the front end markup we are going to create an attribute to hold those values for that set the controller to refer to the apex class that we have created and this aura handler is going to run by itself when the page initialize and is going to run the record list which we defined in our javascript file which should be c dot get record list okay and i am going to create our attribute it will store the list of accounts and then make sure I type as list and then create your uh, div tags to hold the content inside your do 
and creating a lightning layout and then so this layout will hold the content so it's basically just uh, I'm creating these things to hold the text that we are going to see in our component. So I'm adding the H2 tag to display the text. I'm adding recently modified accounts. So as we did in our query, it will display recently modified accounts. So to display, like to view uh, our component, I am creating an application and I am setting extent to force SLDS and I am going to call our lightning component here. Save it. All right, we are done here. So in the right side, if you see here, there is an update preview button. So if you click over here, uh, it will execute and show you the results. So this is what we are getting. Uh, if you go here, so we are just displaying this text, recently modified accounts, but we are not pulling up any accounts to display. So let's go ahead and display the accounts. Oh, I'm going to add another lightning layout on the lightning item with the padding and I'm adding the iteration to display all the accounts in the account list and like it basically uh, it pulls up all the accounts based on our query and store it in the account list so this iteration will display it and i'm adding a lightning card to display all the accounts individually as a card in our component it will have account name it will display the account name here in that lightning card I'm going to add a tag to display last modified view. So here in this tag, planning to just uh, display. So like the previous card will uh, display the account name and this card will hold the last edited time of that account. I'm using this function for metadata time. And aligning it. That is it. All right, on top of this, uh, we will go ahead and add some action buttons. Like maybe we can open the account from here. Let's go ahead and add some buttons. So I'm adding a set attribute in the hitched of tag. I'm just giving the deep link. It should open a new link of the account with the id and it's in the new tab so target blank will open in a new tab and the name of the button is open all right i have saved it let's go and see what it looks like cool we have the action buttons now let's see what happens so it is opening in the new window 
so going to the account page directly okay so that's it guys like so when you start it seems like a little bit confusing even i am very new to this lightning components uh, i have worked as admin but i haven't really created any lightning components uh, earlier so i just learned this uh, this week in my quarantine time so i just wanted to share it with you guys uh, i am planning to do a sequence of videos with this lightning components let me know uh, what you feel or um, any areas that i need to improve or any areas that you guys are looking uh, it will be a learning curve for me and as well as i can uh, show you what i learned from those topics to you guys as well until then see you guys take care stay stay home and stay safe bye bye